guys and welcome back. Um, it is currently uh, November 25th um, and I want to show you guys my budget. The end of the month is on Friday and so I kind of want to finalize this budget. I know that I'm going to be getting some gas this week but other than that I should be not, not be making any more purchases. So I kind of want to finalize this budget and I'll show you how I finalize uh, my budget. So for week three um, I actually made $517.11, why I budget $450. So I'm going to go ahead and make all of my adjustments now to represent what I actually make and how all of that works. Uh, week 4, I made $509.62 instead of $450. So, oops. So let's go ahead and kind of show that. So, and then this week's, or I guess last week's, uh, income is not shown um, because I have not received it. I will receive that Friday. So, also, I did receive the rest of my roommate's rent. So, it is a total of $90.93. I received that yesterday. I just haven't put it in yet. So, I'm going to track the income. I also apologize, number one, for the shaky camera, but this is the best way I know how to record it. I know that the computer screen may not be, uh, you can probably see the pixels a little bit, but this is the best way I know how to do it and show you, like, live time. And secondly, I apologize if my voice is messed up. I have a really bad cold, um, and I'm actually just kind of staying in bed today. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and do this for you guys. So as you can see, my roommate finished paying off her rent, and she did not have any food for this month. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Sometimes I go out and buy her food or she buys me food. Um, so this kind of concludes my income. Obviously, there will be one more week of income that will kind of change that, but that's my income. So gifts, I definitely went over. I ended up doing Black Friday shopping for three, sorry, I got a text message. Um, I have three, um, For I finalized for the gifts that I had on Black Friday um, because I got deals on them. There's only one more gift I need to get. So next month my budget will be less than $50 for gifts. Um, but I am going to go ahead and say that I'm done purchasing gifts for this month. So I spent eighty sixty six, and you can see see with the extra income I have ninety five dollars and one cent to budget. Um, it is actually Sunday right now, and I did go to church. So I need to add a new transaction. Oops. It was five dollars and that was on the 11th and we actually had two collections um, I believe or no no we did not and then I also have five dollars on the 18th that I gave and then I also have five dollars today um, since I am ill, um, I've been having really bad muscle spasms as well. Um, I did not go to church today, so I will actually give, uh, next Sunday, I will put an extra $5 in our basket. Um, but since it was meant to be November and I already have the money taken out in the envelope to give, I will go ahead and mark it in the month of November. So as you can see, I have that balanced savings again I did not give anything uh, put anything in there my emergency fund is already at a thousand dollars this three dollars and twenty two cents is just the interest that has built on it and I'm just gonna let it build interest but I'm not touching that savings account um next housing um, I have not paid my rent this month it's actually due um, at the first of every month uh, but I write the check at the end of the month and so I've not received that my water bill comes on my rent, so I'm not done that. My gas bill did come in, um, so that has been balanced. Electricity, internet is done. I haven't spent anything on household maintenance. 
Um, so as long as that stays true, I'm going to say I spent zero dollars, so that, and I also spent zero dollars on lawn care. So that is zero dollars. Pet care, I did spend, um, thirty dollars and fifty-one cents on my dog's food. Her name is Sam. And so, uh, as you can see, I have $19.49 left in that. I will not be using that. So I will have $30.51 left over. I did not have any money in the repair section. So housing is done. Gas, as you can see, I have had the expense of gas at least once a week. And so those are in there. I do have $75.88 left. I will have to fill up at least once this week. So I'm going to leave that and see what my total is later. I do not have to get an oil change, so that is done. And I have not had to have any maintenance this month. And I'm going to hope it continues. And so that will be $0. So my transportation minus the gas is done. So my groceries, I actually spent only $8.26 this month. Um, I do not see myself spending any more this month, so I can actually change this around to $8.26. And on top of that, I actually received 10 pounds of hamburger from my parents, so I will have plenty for next time. I did go $4.06 over um, as I did go out of town for Thanksgiving, and I ended up going out with family and spending some money so this is something that I would like to do better on I would love to keep my groceries that low but I know that's not realistic realistic and then I would love to have my grocery or my restaurant budget decrease by a lot so that is done I will not be going out to eat this week I am determined um, although I say that but I am sick and so depending on how I'm feeling just cooking wise um, so clothing, I had planned $100, and um, I spent none of it, so $0 there. Um, miscellaneous, I only spent um, $29.92. As you can see, it says Mom's Christmas. I actually ended up buying something for me at the same store, so I split it, and I just labeled it as Mom's Christmas because I also bought her gift. Um, so $29.92 was mine. Hair and beauty, I definitely went over. Um, as I said, my skin has been breaking out, so I have bought a couple of new products this month um, to kind of help repair um, my skin. So pharmacy, I actually have spent $0. I am trying to get my prescription to go through. I'm currently having a problem with that. So when I get my prescription to go through, this will actually be charged so that'll be done. My phone bill, as I've said in the first video and every video since, never is actually $40. This month it was $36.42. Um, Netflix has gone through. Spotify goes through at the very end of the month. So that will be there. Acorns went through. And Hulu, um, I got a special on Hulu. Um, it's $0.99. Cents. And the 106 is because of the initial charge. So I got it for a year for 99 cents. And since my roommate will be moving out, uh, I will be doing this. And I'm kind of hoping that I can add my parents to the profile and they will take care of that. But for now, this this. And so now we are down to the student loans. Now that you see how much I didn't actually end up spending in certain categories, um, you can see that I have come up with $457.61 that can go towards my debt. So as I've said, this debt will be paid off um, right here. So this one is done. I have student loan 2 will be gone. Student loan 3 will not be gone. But I'm going to take this out and pretend I'm paying zero. I will be paying seven hundred and forty two dollars and twenty three cents so let's go ahead and put that that is going towards that so I have seven hundred and forty two dollars and twenty three cents going towards that debt right there I'm very proud of that um 
these are all extra payments because of my income I actually do not have um, any payments due on these which I like because it's easier to allocate um, for now um, so as I am paying off over a thousand dollars in my debts this month which makes me very happy and I reached my goal of half of my income going towards my debt for a grand total of 57% of my income going towards debt. I'm very, very proud of this. Um, again, I'm hoping that my food next month will actually be a little bit changed up. Um, so I, hopefully I'll be saving on the restaurants. But it will be set up a little bit differently this next month. But look at this. That is my largest part of my of where my income is going, which makes me very happy. So almost two thousand dollars going towards there. That makes me so proud, and um, I'm ready to get rid of this. I'm ready to get rid of this debt, and um, yeah. So hopefully you guys like this. Sorry again for the shaky camera. I'm just laying in bed, and I really wanted to get this video made for you guys. This is my finished budget for the month of November, um, minus the gas that I will have to purchase this week. So I actually may have up to um, I will probably have twenty to thirty dollars less than this um, spent on gas. So anything left will also be thrown towards my debt. But other than that, my month is done um, for spending unless an emergency comes up, which I will be taking from the debt section. But other, other than that, it is done. I've paid off that much debt as of the first. I will go in and make that payment and it will be coming out of my bank account. And um, in the next video, I, got, I will be showing you guys um, my December budget and how I will be making that. So um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and that you enjoy this video and that this helps and encourages you um, to know that even on a lower income it is possible um, and it just takes some determination and obviously I wasn't perfect this much especially with my restaurants and gift giving um, but it just shows that you can make edits to your budget and um, sacrificing is key in this case. So um, I hope to see you guys next time um, when we will be doing my December 2018 budget. Um, have a great time and I will see you next time.